Uh, yeah, New York City. <clears throat> we sitting here with the uh, legendary Funky Four Plus One More, Shah Rock, DJ Breakout, Keith Keith. My name is Rodney C. And uh, shout out to Hollis Famous Burgers for having us. Uh, the reason why we're here, uh, we came out because uh, this fine establishment decided that they wanted to induct us into their museum and hall of fame and we truly appreciate that. Um, what can I say? Uh, thank you. Much respect. Um, he basically warned us to be able to talk about what it is that um, we did as a Funky Four Plus One and how we contribute to the culture of hip hop. And so I'll let you finish that off, sir, since you are the spokesman and have always been a spokesman. Wow, uh, thank you, Shah Rock. Um, well, we, you can consider us one of the first bricks in the house of hip hop. If hip hop is a house, then we laid the foundation to build in that house. Um, most people don't actually know that we had a beautiful but short-lived career as the Funky Four plus one more. And most people don't know that we actually had two names, Funky Four plus one more and Funky Four plus one because we signed to do two different labels. The first label we signed to was Enjoy Records and we were the Funky Four plus one more. And then when we went to Sugar Hill six months later, we became the Funky Four Plus One. But as the Funky Four Plus One, the original Funky Four Plus One More, uh, we actually were together five months before we got our first record deal. Uh, we got together July 11th, 1979, which was uh, Breakout's birthday. I'll never forget that because me and Jazzy Jeff was his birthday present that day. Um, and the actual rapping and rocking tune that we actually recorded, which turned out to be the longest hip hop record ever created, uh, was what we did that day in the park. And then we went into the studio five months later and we cut that. Um, and that is kind of like our staple. It's like our claim to fame. Unfortunately, and fortunately, we had 18 months after that. So we were only together 22 months in total. But in those 22 months, we set all the precedents in the game. Mm -hmm. We're the first hip hop group from the Bronx to get a legitimate record deal. Right. Mm -hmm. We're the first hip hop group with a female. Mm -hmm. Her name is Shah Rock, right. and she's the first lady of hip hop. And we were the first group to do national television. Right. We did Saturday Night Live with Deborah Harry back in 1981. And Valentine's Day this year, uh, 2011, marked 30 years of our performance on Saturday Night Live. But, uh, but also, let me interject, we were also the first uh, group to to start wearing graffiti on our clothing. And you will see that in some of the pictures, you know. So even though you may have seen graffiti that was on the trains, we actually translated that into clothing. And we Correct. Had, you know, a, a flyer king, you know, decides that um, he wanted to, to do graffiti and change it over to clothing. So we were actually the first group that ever did that. Right, that's what I'm yeah. Thinking. We had the big bell bottom pads. So. And our names going down the side. I want to say really thank you for everything y'all did. They can't come out and the queens can recognize we live in the Bronx. They don't give a fuck about us. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. We live right there in the Bronx. They never did this for us. So I really appreciate it. This is definitely special, man. Yeah. Wow. It's like family up in it's here. It's sad that we have to come so far to get recognized, but thank you very much. So look, man, y'all music is all over the world, wow. man. So, you know, this is just one part of the world that's, that's recognizing right. you. Okay. Right. And it's our pleasure. Our pleasure, fully. fully. It's a true story. <laughs> so you are talking about the days with the Lee Jean. Shame on you, Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four plus one more. Y'all got to get it right. Come on. There you right. go. You have to give homage to the ones who did it. DJ Devon. <laughs> 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 hey, I do it every time I touch the turntables. That's with, good. With me, when I touch the turntables, I tell anybody, anybody here, they know me. I'm all about educating the masses. I just don't play music just to play it. Scratch Master, Jazzy G, South Bronx representative, legendary B Boys, Ultra Magnetic, exactly. so forth, so forth. But put it like this, you know, we all here is a saying. We've been to hell and back. Everything is evolving back full circle. You know. See this family here together in one place is a blessing. That to have everybody here and still have love for the game, have that passion from day one till now, 
That's nothing but love. King and Rockwell, Jazzy Rock Jeff, wherever you are. Peace. Rock on. I have a couple questions for you guys. At the time when you was doing your records, how was it to clear the samples you wanted to use for your records? Wasn't no samples when we was doing <laughs> records. That came years later. We actually yeah, had bands no exactly. who created or recreated the music that we wanted. And so that's, it how was we were no able, that's how we were able to get away with it because we had live bands. So the bands didn't play it verbatim. verbatim. Right. And and the exactly. first the first time we did rapping the rock in the house, we actually did it in Breakout's garage with the band playing with us. Experience. Um, we did it for his birthday. That's where we did it. At. We created that, and we that's where we went. It. And, and but before we went in the studio, we was in the um, yeah, well, pack practicing with God Bless the Dead, yeah. drum, um, Pumpkin, King the, the beat. drummer, King of the Beat. You know? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that ends another entertaining edition of Up and Coming Entertainment. Without God, nothing is possible around here. We got to thank Eva Marie King and Hollis Berger for inviting Mobile Media TV into that great fellowship session with the Funky Four Plus One. Those are definitely true hip hop pioneers, even though I wasn't born yet when they came out, but their music still lives on today. Also, once again, rest in peace to Nate Dogg, the entrepreneur from the West Coast, and his loved ones will send a prayer out to them at this time. MobileMediaTV.com is the entrepreneur's choice. You can follow me on Twitter.com backslash showupandcoming or Mobile Media TV. You can hit up the email at showtimeisupandcoming at gmail.com. You can leave a message on my voicemail at 347-776-4471. You can send snail mail to Mobile Media TV, P.O. Box 7208, New York, New York, 10116. This summer, in just less than four months to be exact, that time of the year is here again, the Urban X Awards. What is the Urban X Awards? The Urban X Awards is to celebrate accomplishments with adult entrepreneurs. And once again, I'm going to keep preaching about this. The Urban X Awards is 100% black run. The title holder is black. BET Awards is not black. Last time I checked, BET was under CBS, ran by another fly white entrepreneur named Mr. Les Moves. When Tyler Perry or Oprah Winfrey become the chairperson of BET, then call me. Urban X Awards will be in Los Angeles this summer. And right now, you can go to UrbanXAwards.com and vote for your favorite performers as one of the board of directors told me this is the March Madness for adult entertainment. So go to Urban X Awards, get in tune, vote for your favorites, and watch the results as they come in on July 23rd, 2011 in Los Angeles. And our final thought, I say this time and time again, but it's two things. The first final thought goes back to when Nancy Reagan was the first lady and she started a campaign called Just Say No to Drugs. Now, for those who don't know or should know by now, Charlie Sheen is a wax job. Now, I'm going to be very blunt and give respect when it's due. Charlie, Mich Charlie Sheen was a Mexican entrepreneur who crossed the boat into the United States took a trade acting, applied himself with it, and became very successful. But the drugs is like, not making him look good right now. All this winning, P, passion, and I'm clean, I'm clean, man. No, you're not clean. I can see from the viral videos, you're on a verge of self-destruction. The first thing you need to do is get God in your life, Talk to Dr. Drew, go to rehab or something before you end up like the late Rick James. Because as the late Rick James said, cocaine's hell of a drug. And a second final thought, time waits for no one. With the disaster that's going on in J that just happened in Japan a couple weeks ago, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and loved ones who lost people there. 
You want something in life, you gotta get it. You gotta live life for the moment. Tell someone that you love them. Make your move. Do not wait. Do not hesitate. Those who hesitate, lose. You can rewind videotapes, but you can't rewind the death. And that's the truth. That ends another entertaining edition of Up and Coming Entertainment. Keep God number one. Have your pets spayed or neutered. It's very important. Till the next time we meet again. When I met you last night, baby. Before you opened up your gap. I had a respect for your lady. But now I take it all back. Cause you gave me all your And I promise, baby, I'll give you a call Next time I'm feeling kinda honey You can come on over and I'll break you off And if you can't fuck that day,